Welcome back. Our uh, activity today is warm and wheel. So the objective is to determine mechanical advantage, velocity ratio, and efficiency of warm and wheel. The concept is just like if you wanted to lift a heavy load, then you just need some effort for you to lift it. Okay, so let's do this. Okay, so uh, let's do this. First is you're going to measure uh, the first object, the effort. That is S E. E stands for effort, which means you're going to measure from the tip of the object going to the floor. Okay, we will check later. We will see it. Okay, down to the floor. So that height stands for S E, which uh, you're going to record it in the table. Okay. Okay. So uh, make sure to record it. Don't forget that is SE or the height of the effort. With the weighing scale, don't forget to measure our load and then the effort. And then release it. When you release it, now you measure the height first of the yeah the load. Take note that in the SL is just the difference of the preliminary height that is before releasing the effort. And then the final height after releasing the effort. Okay, so it's just a small amount that you can get. Okay, so in the table, you have here the sequence number. Let's see how many trials you have. The load FL is your, yeah, the load, the big one. And then FE is the effort, the small one that uses to lift the big load. And then SE stands for the distance of the effort that is measured from the tip of that small object going to the floor and then the distance moved by the load with the, which is sl is the difference of the preliminary height and in the the final height it's just the small amount that this uh, load rises up okay rises up and then after which you can compute the velocity ratio which is just equal to se over sl and then you have a uh, mechanical advantage which is equal to the load and then the effort and then your efficiency which is equal to ma over vr and then times 100 so that's all see you